Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. But Breezy, you're making the hairs from my body stand up with anger. What is wrong with you? You say that your pee is clean and there's no drugs in my system. <laughs> my ass. There's no alcohol, but drugs there is in your system. And uh, it shows because you're delusional. How can you say things like this? Listen to yourself here, Breezy. Listen, you're crazy. Addiction problem, and I think I'm doing pretty okay raising a family and going live on YouTube every day working. I, I, you know, um, you know, um, you know, no, I don't fucking know. Is this work? And what family are you raising? Your family is raising you. Everybody knows that. Your family is raising you. Not you're raising. You're not helping your family at all. You're a burden for everyone. You're useless for your family. It's a fact. The only thing you know to do is go live stream on YouTube and call this work. You actually dare to call this work? Wait, let's check out what this work for Breezy. This is the work for Breezy. Okay, look, this is. Let's see the reactions. Right, some soy sauce. And I have wonton soup. So bismillah. Let's eat. Let's get into it. Uh, Would you consider this a binge? And does it look like she's been crying to you guys? I've been craving Chinese. This so is what Breezy calls work. And she calls herself a respectful adult at her age 41. Remember the other day she's full of anxiety and panic? Well, look, here you catch her saying that she's living the best days of her life. Breezy, make up your mind. One day it's like, oh my God, I don't know. Thank you for checking on me. Oh, my chest, my chest. I like looking at my... You're so ridiculous and pathetic. And uh, today you're saying that you you feel young. You feel so young at 41. And you're the, at the best time of your life. You're so full of shit. You don't even know anymore yourself. You get caught up. You don't even know how to make content. You get lost. You're like, oh, technical difficulties. You don't have anything prepared. And you call this work. It's you're unethical, immoral. You're, uh, you're disgusting. You're a disgraceful human being. And I feel yeah. sorry for your child. Your child, wow, must be so embarrassed to have a mom like you. And that's fact. Your whole family must be embarrassed about you. Might be to clean the apartment they're in for now for the deposit refund. That's true. That's true. Did she mean I'm staying the in voice, the voice? That's with... true. Jeez, gosh. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Or without Salah? People? She's looking at that rice, how I look at a sexy man. Dupont, who said, Chantel, you have zero self-awareness. Everything you say and do, know him online. I think he's a great cause problems. But the truth is, like, anybody could drug test me. My pee is clean. My, My pee ass. is clean. And um, My anybody pe People that know... repeat things at the end two times, that means that they're lying. They're reconfirming it. That uh, assures you, you can ask any psychological person about that. If they reaffirm the statement at the end. My pee is clean. My pee is clean about addiction because they're trying to say my health issue was over cocaine right mm -hmm. and that's why i went to the er what addict goes to the er with drugs in their system like what I person gets engaged and offers their daughter to a person on the internet a psycho a psycho like you breezy i'm sorry but like, <laughs> that's not a thing um i had to be sassy for a second this terrible hey, Earl, person. Good to see you. Um, yeah. So it's her. Also, and, sometimes uh, I wonder with you, girl. She's gonna get attention. It's just gonna be the wrong attention. So good luck to her. Mm. Anyways, it's gonna stay up there for probably a month. Because it's pretty interesting, anyways. Hold on. Kubala said, "Oh shit, she's back wrapping the." Cruella. Okay, I am not going to. I wanted to find the part, but it's just going too much into the video. I wanted to find the part where she says that uh, I'm living the best time of my life at 41. I'm young, you know, I lost weight, da, 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 basically. And But the other day she was putting everybody in panic about her anxiety and her beating heart and her situation and what she's conditioned, she's going through the condition she's going through. Once again, everybody, I repeat, she's a very terrible person. She's... Uh, Parasite of society, a shame to anybody that knows her. And she should be ashamed of herself, but she isn't because she's so terrible. She doesn't know about shame. And also, I want to tell you at the end of this, uh, I congratulate everyone that fought with addictions and that is sober with whatever addiction they had. That is, uh, I congratulate everyone. But just keep in mind, just because you have fought an addiction and you can call yourself sober from alcohol now when you're taking all the other substances, but from alcohol, you're sober, okay? That does not mean 
that you have the license to be a hypocrite and an asshole and uh, a shit of a person. Just because you, you uh, battled with, a, with one addiction and you have I don't know how many else on the side, but you fought with one, doesn't make you a hero and doesn't give you the right to uh, be a shit of a person. Everybody, have a good day. Peace, peace, peace.